Hello friends. I am Fazal from Modern Arts. I am very pleasure to see you again with another fresh new tutorial on PowerPoint. In this tutorial I am going to show you how to create this type of animated subscribe button just using PowerPoint. If you like this video don't miss to subscribe to my channel and to press bell button in order to get new updates of my channel. Without wasting any more time let's start our tutorial. Open layout and select blank. Right click in background and select format background and choose a color which you won't use it in your project and I am selecting green background. Go to insert tab and choose pictures then select your channel logo, bell icon, and mouse point icon which you can download from Google pictures. Now I am going to create a pressed bell icon which I don't have. Select a hollow circle from shapes, holding control, and shift drag the circle. Using its yellow dot adjust the circle. Go to align and select align center align align middle. Go to shape format, select outline, choose no outline and select black as shape fill. Press ctrl plus D to duplicate the hollow circle. Pressing ctrl and shift reduce second circle size. Go to shapes and select rectangle then drag a rectangle. Press ctrl plus D to duplicate. Holding shift rotate the rectangles. Pressing Ctrl select all of two rectangles and two hollow circles. Go to shape format, select merge shapes and choose fragments. Pressing Ctrl choose two pieces of circle as I am doing. Delete all unnecessary pieces. Select both chosen pieces, go to shape format, select merge shapes and choose union. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate. Go to rotate and choose flip horizontal. Select all of three shapes and press ctrl plus G to group them together. Right click and save as a picture. Insert the recently created pressed bell picture. Reduce both bell pictures size. Change pictures color to light gray. Let's create a subscribe button icon.
press Ctrl plus D to duplicate. Go to shapes and select rounded corners rectangle. Using its yellow dot adjust its corners. Go to align and select align center align align middle. Go to animation, select add animation, more entrance animation then choose stretch. Open animation pane. Set up start after previous. Add a text box to add your channel's name. After placing all icons in their appropriate places, this is time to animate your channel logo, channel name, red subscribe button and black bell icon, animate them all with appear animation, and set up only first one to start after previous and others with previous. Animate mouse point icon with float in. Set up start after previous. Adjust its delay time. Animate mouse point again with pulse animation. Set up start after previous. Animate red subscribe button with disappear animation. Set up start with previous. Adjust its delay time.
Place black and white subscribe button over red subscribe button. And animate it with appear animation. Set up start with previous. Again animate mouse point icon with lines animation. Go to effect option and choose right. Adjust its moving path. Set up start with previous. Adjust its delay time. Animate mouse point again with pulse animation. Set up start after previous. Again animate black bell icon with disappear animation. Set up start after previous. Place light gray bell icon on black bell icon. Animate light gray bell icon with appear animation. Set it start with previous. Animate all of channel logo, name, subscribe button, and bell icon with disappear animation. Set them all start with previous except first one set it only start after previous. It's time to animate background rounded corners rectangle again, go to add animation, select more exit animations and choose collapse. Set up start after previous. Increase delay time. Now I am going to set up sound effects for relevant animations. First select appear animation of light gray bell icon. Using its down arrow button go to effect option select sounds and select other sounds from list, then choose already downloaded bell sound. You can download bell sounds for free from Google, and remember to convert mp3 to wav format otherwise powerpoint won't be able to detect it. Now go to effect options of both pulse animations which are shown as yellow rectangles in animation pane, then select sounds, and choose click sound from the list. Then select sounds, and choose click sound from the list.
Now I am going to export this presentation as a video, before that go to transition, under advanced slide panel, select after, and set the time about 2 seconds. Ok, now go to file, export and choose create a video. Video was created, now I am playing video with VLC player. Now I am gonna show you how to remove video background using chroma key, I am using Camtasia so, I will show you how to remove video background in Camtasia video editor. Place presentation video in second track. Go to visual effects then drag and drop remove a color effect on presentation video as I am doing. Using eyedropper select green background to remove, adjust its tolerance and softness. Now you can place animated subscribe button in any part of your video. If you like this video don't miss to subscribe to my channel and to press bell button in order to get new updates of my channel. Thank you for watching.